Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Hans Still. This one is going to be on how to make the um, hyperspace effect that I recently posted on YouTube and people have been asking for tutorials so I decided um, I would make one. Here it is. The first thing what we're going to do is we are going to delete our default cube because we don't need that, so just delete that. And then we're going to set up our camera um, in a way that'll make it easy for um, to shoot the particles at it. So, because um, it's kind of hard to get it on that angle. So what we do is just go to top view, press Alt R to clear its rotation, and um, Alt G to clear its location. So now it's in the middle, facing perfectly down. Uh, then what we want to do is just press R X ninety, and then R Z ninety. So that it's facing that way, and just move it over here somewhere. There will do. Um, okay, so now once we set that up, what we want to do is we want to um, add a plane that our particle is going to come from. Now, um, the way I did it on the one on the internet is uh, I actually had a large uh, box that sort of created all the particles at once. So. Um, the effect was that the front ones were sort of moving slower and um, so they're smaller because of the particle pack and then the ones at the back were moving faster so they were larger but um, some people said they didn't like it like that so I'm going to show you how to do it just so that they're all e equal distance um, but just be aware that the speed of the particles makes them um, fatter and longer and stuff with the types of particles that I'm using uh, so yeah so if we just go over here and then press uh, numpad three so looking from behind the camera um, and then just press space add mesh plane uh, you want to scale it up so that it's pretty big um, just so you can get enough particles so that they go sort of all around the camera and make it all nice and stuff and um, then what we want to do is we want to start making our particles just go into um, object mode and then uh, sorry, object buttons and then particle buttons and you want to add new so then what we want to do is we want to change the life and make it um, 200 that's just uh, actually make it just 1000 um, because we don't want them to die anywhere throughout our video so they'll just keep coming um, then what we want to do is just add normal speed and you want to add a fair amount so, uh, then go from, we have uh, 250 frames as default, so we want the end to be 250, and um, now for the part that makes it look like, um, like hyperspace, is we want to change the visualization in here, you want to change that from point to line, and um, that's pretty much it, it's, it's as simple as that, um, so we now press um, Alt, you see that the lines come out, uh, they're going way too slow though, so if we just crank that up, and um, and they're really short at the moment, so to fix that, you just change, a turn, be sure to turn on speed, and now um, you get the whole effect. Yeah, so if we jump into our camera now and um, press Alt A to play, you can see it right there. Um, so now we can uh, render it out. So if we just press uh, F12, no, sorry. Um, so we could just take a still, just press up to go to a certain frame, and then press F12, and um, you'll see that they sort of go they have a starting point sort of you can see where they come from and um, in hyperspace you don't really want to see the end of it so uh, to fix that what we're going to do is we're just going to go and set up some environment effects and stuff so it looks much better um, so we're going to go in here and we're going to go to um, our shaders and then world and you want to change that to black uh, you want to add mist and then you want to go to side view on here so, um, and select your camera, and then go into object buttons and the object, no, sorry, editing buttons here, and click mist. And that should come up with a little stick thing. Now maybe it doesn't. 
we haven't set here. So set the um, the distance for it, and just set that up a bit so that it's sort of about the same as the height to the top, or you know about double that kind of thing. So I would check it about there, say. And then if we press um, F12 to render now, they sort of come out of nowhere. Um, I think just before we finish, we should, I think, add some more maybe, because um, it's not quite enough for my taste. Let's select that plane here, uh, go into, and change the amount from 1000 to, say, 10,000. And then uh, go down to frame one, and then press Alt A. Yeah, I think that's going to be too much now, probably. So yeah, so um, that's pretty much the entire thing. Um, again, if you want them longer, you can either turn up the speed or you can um, turn up these two things here, back and front, and that basically, when you turn speed on here, and uh, obviously if the particles have some speed, then it multiplies that by these to get how long the, um, the line is. So yeah, so um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you um, enjoyed it, and I uh, hope it was helpful.